Hey, what's up, everybody? Did a billionaire lady out of Texas buy 900,000 American Silver Eagles, supposedly spending $50 million for 900,000 American Silver Eagles? We have heard this all over YouTube, all over social media, several articles reporting about a lady in Texas who is a billionaire who bought 900,000 American Silver Eagles spending $50 million up to a possible $1 billion, I do believe, that she wants to spend on silver. In this video, we are going to investigate this situation and I have a few questions, but before we get to that, if you don't mind, please smash the thumbs up button in this video and leave me a comment in the comment section down below your thoughts and your opinions of this entire situation. Did it happen? Did it not happen? Let's talk about it. Now, 900,000 American Silver Eagles, the math, because I am a mathematician, not really, but anyway, 900,000 American Silver Eagles would be 180 monster boxes. Each monster box, you know, those big green monster boxes that the authorized purchasers can buy directly from the United States Mint. Each monster box has 500 American Silver Eagles times 180 monster boxes of 500 American Silver Eagles apiece, that would equal 900,000 one ounce American Silver Eagles. Now, I don't know if this story is true. I am very skeptical of the entire story. I'm not saying they're lying. It could absolutely be 100% true. I do have a couple of questions. One is supposedly this lady wanted to come out public and say, I bought all of these American Silver Eagles, 900,000 of them. Great. If you wanted to come public, how about showing us said 900,000 American Silver Eagles or 180 monster boxes worth? That would take up a ton of space, a lot of space, stacking up 180 monster boxes. Not only would these American Silver Eagles take up a lot of space with 180 monster boxes, but it would also be extremely heavy. I do believe each monster box weighs 40 pounds times 180. That's over 7,000 pounds. That there is a lot of weight. I would love to see on any given video 180 monster boxes stacked up Full of American Silver Eagles. That there would be an amazing story where we could see just a little corner of a basement or an entire bedroom full of 180 monster boxes of American Silver Eagles. Now, my next question would be why American Silver Eagles with such a high premium on American Silver Eagles these days, why would they choose to buy American Silver Eagles? Why not Canadian Maple Leafs? Why not Britannias? Why not generic silver rounds or generic silver bars in which you could probably get a lot more silver at lower the cost? My question would be, why choose to go American Silver Eagles? American Silver Eagle bullion coins, in my opinion, is not a collectible coin. Sure, there are some American Silver Eagles from certain dates that have lower mintages than others, with 1996 being the lowest mintage, just over 3 million American Silver Eagles each. Now, even with 3 million American Silver Eagles, in my opinion, I still do not view American Silver Eagles from the date of 1996, the bullion coin being very collectible. I would not spend any more of a premium on that, or at least very much more of a premium on them than any other dated American Silver Eagle. Now, other people may differ, and that's just my opinion. Other people would spend an extra premium and much more of an extra premium on 1996 American Silver Eagles. This is just not something that I would spend a whole lot of extra money on. Most people who are into stacking silver, most people 
that I've heard from in the comment section of my videos, in the comment section of other people's videos on live streams, say that they are absolutely not at this given time, during the time where American Silver Eagles are $10 over spot, $13 over spot, $14 over spot, buying any sort of a large amount of American Silver Eagles outside of just buying one for 2022, just to have one for your collection. So back to my original question, and that is, why did this supposed billionaire in Texas choose to go with American Silver Eagles? What we are going to do in this video is we are going to see if we can find anywhere on the United States Mint sales where they have sold enough American Silver Eagles that would supply said sale. So let's go and bounce over to the United States Mint sales for American Eagle bullion coins. Let's go check it out. We are on the United States Mint 2022 American Silver Eagle sales, and we can see all the American Silver Eagle sales from January through. We are currently in July of 2022. I'm not saying that this sale did not happen. I am skeptical, in my opinion, about the sale of 900,000 American Silver Eagles, and I definitely don't understand it if it did actually happen why somebody who's a billionaire would go out and buy something that's at extremely high premium unless they're the ones who created such high premium by buying that amount of American Silver Eagles. I don't believe we have any date as to when this sale actually happened. So maybe it happened in May or April. However, premiums on American Silver Eagles have been extremely high premium for the last couple of years so i don't think this sale in general if this sale actually did happen that it created the high premiums on american silver eagles high premiums on american silver eagles existed since midway through 2020. now did said sale of 900,000 american silver eagles happen in the month of july if that's the case, the United States Mint has only sold 425,000 American Silver Eagles. In June of 2022, the United States Mint has only sold 925,000 American Silver Eagles. That's just over how much this billionaire lady in Texas bought. That's only 25,000 more than that entire sale. Let's say that this was not all 2022 dated American Silver Eagles. Let's say this sale just wiped out inventory of backdated American Silver Eagles from say 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. You would think that the dealers who sold these American Silver Eagles to this billionaire lady in Texas would want to replenish their stock of American Silver Eagles or maybe they don't I don't know but I would think that the amount of sales from the United States Mint would have went up but instead it looks like the United States Mint is not selling very many American Silver Eagles they didn't sell very many very few in July now we are still in July we are as recording this video July the 30th of 2022 and so far the United States Mint has only sold 425,000 now they can change that number i have seen going into the next month so say we could be in august the first week or second week in august and they could always adjust the sales of this number in july we could absolutely see that i've seen it happen before just for example i believe i did a video on like june 1st or june 2nd it was somewhere around there the first week in june on the united states mid american silver eagle sales for may and in may they had only sold, according to the video, they had only sold at that time 850,000 American Silver Eagles. While a couple of days later, they adjusted the sales for May, not 850,000, but they adjusted it to 1,350,000. So the United States Mint could always make an adjustment to the July sales report. And instead of being 425,000, I don't know, maybe they sold 2 million. So I'll definitely keep tabs on the United States Mint sales and see if at some point 
they automatically have a huge amount of sales because of this sale from this billionaire lady in Texas. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Please, first of all, smash that thumbs up button and let me know what your opinion is. I've given you my opinion as to what I think. And looking at the United States Mint sales, it looks like a pretty mediocre sales year for the United States Mint. Currently at 11,131,500 so far to date for the calendar year of 2022. Now, I know some people may say in the comment section down below that it's not because the dealers don't want to buy them or that they don't have the demand for them, but it is because a lot of these authorized purchasers who can buy directly from the United States Mint is on allocation and the United States Mint does not have the American Silver Eagles or Silver or even the Silver Blanks to strike all these American Silver Eagles to meet public demand. But I don't know, that's all speculation. In my opinion, based on the United States Mint sales, in my opinion, and in my opinion only, I am not seeing where 900,000 American Silver Eagles would have been replenished to replenish dealer stock for all the American Silver Eagle bullion coins that was wiped out from this sale. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.